it's, it's a pleasure to welcome Dr. Tom uh, Alessi. He's a director of the Vanderbilt uh, Eskin Diabetes Clinic, and he's also Ann and Roscoe Robinson Associate Professor of Medicine. He's the Editor-in-Chief of Clinical Diabetes and Director of the Prevention and Control Corps at the Vanderbilt Diabetes Research and Training Center. So with that introduction, uh, Dr. Tom Alessi, I would like to welcome you here tonight, and we look forward to hearing about uh, your scenario that you've put together to demonstrate. Um, I was just thinking a little bit about uh, Andy's presentation and the question that he kept coming back to, which is uh, why Second Life? Access to quality, to cost, uh, even to workforce issues. And um, while I think uh, for those of you that have been paying attention to the dialogue that's been going on, obviously there's not going to be a silver bullet. Uh, but, but I do believe that this technology that we have um, and are trying to apply to healthcare can be a part of that solution. Uh, so for those of you that can uh, see this uh, slide well, uh, what you see is um, just a little bit of a history of how we have uh, struggled with diabetes uh, and, over the years. Uh, the burden both to the individual and to society is uh, substantial. Uh, next slide, please. Um, this slide uh, highlights uh, a progression over an approximate 15-year period, and I've juxtaposed two conditions really here. One in the bottom is diabetes, and you can see the states uh, that have uh, the highest burden of diabetes. This picture of a patient of mine, and this is a patient of someone who will soon be blind. Uh, this is a picture uh, of a woman in her uh, late 50s, and this is a woman who's had poor care for her and This diabetes. slide I actually use for uh, teaching our house staff and our fellows just to let them know uh, of the different uh, compounds that we have available and their sites and, of action. Uh, let me speak specifically about diabetes and, and I apologize if this gets a little bit uh, detailed. Uh, I'll try to keep it. I know everyone's pretty bright but I know sometimes the detail of a specific discipline can become a, a, a little bit um, you know, unnecessary, so I'm going to try to kind of catch myself. Uh, we have uh, with personnel that. So training that are underway in much the same way that Betsy is leading the initiative to train um, um, faculty. We're also training the nurse practitioners and the clinicians more broadly who will be delivering the intervention. I feel like we have sort of a six step head start because we've learned a ton from our other experience um, with regards to telehealth, including the strategy gratification of patients and the uh, assessment forms as well as the nature of the intervention, at least part of it. Um, Thank you for your attention as someone who's gone a little bit longer than my intended time. But let me just say that I think um, that diabetes is a classic chronic disease classic chronic disease and really does present opportunities for innovation given its societal burden but also given the opportunity to scale and to disseminate from what we learned in this condition. Uh, go ahead and, and take uh, a few minutes to uh, do some surveys uh, for the event and then we're going to start the video that we promised to show you uh, regarding the Air Force's work out here. Uh, is, are there open questions now from those that are in the uh, audience uh, participating with us tonight? I did get a few questions that came in from um, others that sent them out uh, to us earlier, and I can uh, ask those, but let's open it up for the audience at this point. Any questions for our, our visitors, our presenters this evening? Uh, yes, there was a there was a, a, a question uh, asked about sharing this in the Air Force right stuff, and as as you know, with our efforts um, with these global learning forums, it's all open uh, for sharing because that's what exactly what we want to do is distribute and disseminate some of the uh, advantages of these immersive virtual worlds uh, across the Air Force community. So. Welcome to Huffman Prairie Estate, the Air Force's virtual 3D immersive learning environment. The estate is comprised of Huffman Prairie, Huffman Prairie Omega, My Base, My Base Zeta, and Huffman Prairie Chi. 
The focus of Huffman Prairie is to provide a place where educators can identify and share the promising educational technologies that enhance learning and performance. These innovations, with the use of technology, can then be tested and scaled to determine how they can best support learning. As we walk into the administration building, you will notice that we have offices for people from different universities and government organizations. We also tell the story of Air Force history that is associated with innovation. Huffman Prairie is named after the field in Ohio, where the Wright brothers tested their innovative flying machine. It was here they worked out the various challenges to make modernization of flying very practical. In much the same way, in Huffman Prairie, we're taking those innovations that have promise and determine how best to make those innovations practical. As we come out of the administration building, we're walking across the terrazzo towards the Virtual Education Technology Support Center. The courtyard, or terrazzo, represents the terrazzo at the Air Force Academy. Throughout the Air Force regions, we have prototyped classical and future-oriented immersive learning environment designs. To explore how best to use virtual worlds in support of learning, instruction, and discovery. In the classical designs, we provide visual cues of social roles for instructors and learners, auditory features, and interactive learning tools, such as virtual computers, plasma screens, and books. All help to establish a sense of situated place supporting classical learning environments. In our future-oriented learning environment designs, Air Force educators explore ways to harness the benefits of immersive virtual reality that cannot be readily done or duplicated in the real world. We will highlight the designs throughout our video tour.